estimation of water demand now we will estimate how much water is required by the building either for domestic purpose and for the flushing purpose so uh, in this course we will discuss two methods to calculate the water demand the first method is estimation of water demand as per nbc that is the national building code of india both domestic plus flushing and the second method is estimation of water demand as per ipc that is international plumbing code okay in this case also we'll see both uh, both of the types domestic and flushing so as per the method 1 that is as per nbc what what do we exactly need so if you going with this standard that is the nbc standard you need the number of occupants inside the building this is the only thing that you need to calculate the demand for uh, for a building if you are going as per this standard okay so the formula is total water demand is equal to number of people multiplied by water consumption per day per person so this number of people this number of people where you will get either from the furniture layout that is the first priority second is as per the ashre 62.1 standard okay and this water consumption per day per person you will get from the nbc standard so let's understand this with the help of one example i'll use one excel sheet this is the excel sheet water demand as per nbc this is for domestic this is for flushing purpose and this is for total okay in some cases when you, if you are having only one tank okay you have a single line so in, in that case uh, you can also calculate the total demand okay the standard that we will use is the ashre 62.1 nbc 2016 standard for calculating the domestic and flushing water demand and the total so i'll open one uh, layout for an office building so here we have here we have one ground floor plan and the first floor plan okay so if you see in the ground floor plan this is divided this floor plan is divided into offices okay this is office 1 office 2 office 3 and office 4 and in the mid of this floor plan we have a public bathroom in this we have a uh, wc we have urinals we have lavatories so all the fixtures are there for a public bathroom okay so so what what do we exactly need to calculate this demand so what i have done is we have ground floor plan we have we, we have ground floor we have first floor and the, these two floors are typical and each floor each floor is having office 1 2 3 4 4 okay as you can see in the in the layout okay similarly for the first floor also first floor also is having office 1 2 3 4 and in the mid of this floor we have a public bathroom okay so the first input that we need is the the areas of all those offices okay so office 1 2 3 4 so i'll go to the drawing office 1 and 2 these are having the same areas of 277 meter square i'll write it as 277 office 3 and 4 is having an area of 400 i'll write here 400 for this number of people just forget about this values forget about this values for the number of people there are i told you there are two options for the first priority is as per the furniture layout but as you can see in the drawing we don't have any furniture layout right we don't have any furniture layout of these offices so the second is i'll go with the ashre 62.1 standard for the occupancy okay if you see this ashre 62.1 there there is an option for occupant density okay per 1000 square feet or per 100 meter square if i want to look, this is an office building I, and if i want to look for an office if 
for an office. Here we have an office in the in the category of office building and office space. So for office space, what Asher recommends? Asher recommends five five number of people per per hundred meter square or per thousand square feet. So I'll use the same standard, and I have put the same formula. Area multiplied by five divided by hundred because it is for per hundred meter square. Okay. So this is how this value is arrived based on the area. If you know the furniture layout, don't use this area area formula. Directly put the put those values as per the furniture layout. Similarly, for first floor, we have office one, two, three, four. I'll jump to the drawing. Office one and two. The area is three forty five. 345 345 and for office 3 and 4 400 i'll write here 400 and you can assume some uh, 10 to 15 visitors because it's an office building so i'll i'll, I'll assume say 10 visitors for the building Next input required is the LPD that is liters per day water consumption per day per person. Okay, where you will get this this you will get from NBC 2016. Go to this NBC 2016. Here we have different type of buildings. We have the example for the office building. I'll go to the office areas. Shopping office, including canteen. Here we have uh, domestic water demand, flushing, and total. We are doing for office. So for office, the domestic value is 25. Okay. So I have to just write here 25 for all. And here is the demand that is the domestic demand that you will get. For this building, three thousand eight hundred and five liters. Three 